further. Hello everybody, welcome to the first official episode of the Bionic Mole Gaming Channel. Gaming you can dig. I'm the Bionic Mole and I'm coming to you as usual as the wise Master Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi. In this first episode, we'll be taking a tour of Nico's Realm for Friends. On the tour, I will take you down Main Street and show you some of the community features. We'll also take a look at some of the architecture and builds that make up the world. Some of these builds we can take a look at uh, in more detail in future episodes, but for now, we should get on with the tour. The first thing we're going to look at is this brick building right here, made by Dave, one of the founding members of the realm. All the free chicken and eggs you could want. Free chicken. And coming here, all the eggs you could ever want. Well, maybe not all the eggs you could want, but there's plenty of eggs right there. Free food for all new members. And we'll meet the uh, patrolman, patrolman 666. How you doing, sir? Uh, meet the other two. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Nice to meet you, Mr. 667. And patrolman 665. Hey, Watch our streets for us, keep us safe. All right, now I'll show you the post office. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, sir, I'm trying to do something here. All right. All right, well, this is the post office. A lot of trades happen here. Um, if you're a regular on the realm, you probably have um, a box. Let me see if I have any mail. Nope, empty. But yeah, we might have to add a third floor. Got some people asking for some P.O. boxes. Alright, what's next? Alright, Outlook Hotel. Spent my first night in this hotel. On the realm. Let's go and check it out, see what they got. Basic bed. Chest, furnace. Crafting table. Like Silent Dragon's been staying there. Manatee's been here. I don't think he plays anymore. But yeah, a couple of rooms. Anything you need to get started. And yeah, a couple of floors. And moving right along. Alright, let's go to the travel agency next. Nico is huge on maps. He uses maps for everything. He's got everything mapped out. It's pretty cool. And uh, this room right here, this building, is where you can make a copy of any map. Take a map out of here. Combine it on the anvil with one of these maps. You get the spawn area. Snowcrest Valley. The islands. The desert regions. And uh, we even have a good chunk of the end mapped out, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is the travel agency. Get your maps. Alright. Dave's Saddle Shop. Throw in an emerald, get a saddle. Pretty cool. Cheap saddle is the town beacon you see the particles but there's the beacon off to the left you saw a bunch of farms we have every possible farm another map is downtown where we are Dave's domain we'll be checking that out later Jax's castle we'll be checking that out later yeah this right here is Nico's house Got the community brewing stand. Come in here, you got some brew stands, and in here should be some supplies. Yep, we'll give them what I have. Spider eyes. And... Man, I hate giving up gunpowder, but I'll throw the one piece of gunpowder I have in there. Community message board. Take a sign out of this box. Put your message up on the board. I think we need 
to get rid of some of those old messages. All right, now we go to the library. Well, looks like we need a little restocking, some lapis and books in there. We also have a community chest. You just go by and find things, dump things in there you don't want. Might help somebody new. Where do we want to go next? All right. This is the crafting center. Um, since I've recorded, this has been upgraded and it has all the new tables in it, whether they work or not. But that's that. Get some turtle eggs here. Hey, oh, oh, geez. Oh, man. If he gets out, Nico will kill me. Keep him in there. Alright, we also have a jailhouse. Um, we actually uh, used this one time, caught some guy griefing, and part of his uh, punishment was to stay in here for an entire day. That's kind of neat. We actually used it. Alright, there's Ken's Rocket Store. Sells rockets. And uh, here we are at the entrance to Jack's Castle. Uh, he's got a... doesn't play anymore, but he has this pretty good build out here. To take a look at some of the things. My favorite thing is uh, this red barn out here with the silo. Uh, spread out all around there. He has crop farms and uh, animal farms and pretty much anything. He's got this cool like, boardwalk on the river um, and docks. There's a nice view of the farmland. And you can see way off in the distance there's a church. We're gonna go check that out here in a minute. Here we are at the church cemetery. You can see there's plots everywhere. A little mausoleum right here. Yeah, I wonder who's in, gonna end up in that hole. A monument. It's kind of neat little build here. Looks cool with the iron fences. Oh, there's a church. The skull on it. It's kind of ominous, but cool looking build up here. Weird little offering in paper and potato, poison potato. Let's go see what's back here. Take a look down here. You see he's got some caskets. That one's on a city and pedestal. Kind of glad they're empty. Uh, I wonder what's down this hallway. What's this room for? Oh, kind of glad this one's empty too. <laughs> well, all right. What do you? What? Oh my, oh my God! What's that? Oh, oh, oh my God! 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 Oh labeled with the heights and uh, he must have been using this to test something but I'll have to I'll have to ask him about that uh, we've got the tower there and the twin tower little parkour course uh, in the distance you can see that now Dave has um, a big area uh, near town he's one of the founding members and uh, he has dozens of farms I'm just gonna show you some of the some of the more prominent ones um, this one right here, you can get any color wool. Just go in there and clip them. In here, we have a cactus farm. You can hear a rail car underneath. It's probably being collected by a hopper minecart. And over here, we have your observer piston sugarcane farm. 
You just saw the minecart shooting up there. That must be his personal horse. And... A little home away from home. Got everything you need in there. Chest, furnace, little ender chest. It's a small little crop farm, auto crop farm. And this is the Observer Piston Kelp Farm. Well, that's a pretty good timing. See, they float up. Right into the hoppers. Down into the furnace. And into the chest to be converted into kelp blocks for fuel. This is a pretty cool looking uh, oak tree farm. I'm sure you go in there and cut the wood and then all the saplings and everything drops. Dave's great at making banners. Emerald for a banner. He's got a snow, snow, uh, snowball factory. You see the banners here. He's got some American flags. He's got the dragon. He's got that red like sun thing. It's pretty cool. Look pretty cool. We got the Observer Piston Bamboo Farm. And also a little fishing machine. Waterlogged chest up there and it goes right into the hopper. So, this is a place that I uh, didn't really even know it was here until I was uh, recording this video the Snow Golem Kingdom. I'm not sure who it belongs to or what it is. I'll have to ask Nico, and then maybe we can go explore that in a future episode. This right here is the town hall. I'll take a quick little uh, run through here, see what it looks like. Not sure what happened to the armor on the guard, but he's a little needs a little uh, upgrade. Um, I like this build. I like the marble look to it and with the uh, spruce doors. Um, gives it kind of a regal look to it. Official. Little office room here. And this is the town council room. There's actually meetings in here sometime where everybody gathers. And this is Nico's seat. This is where everybody else sits. And now, uh, yeah, you can see the marble pillars and plenty of lights but uh, let's go take a look at some of the residential areas in town oh look who I found zombie carnage she's one of the founding members and who the town is named after Samantha Falls I guess she's pretty klutzy in real life so yeah we have a uh, no trespassing no griefing uh, rule in our realm, and so I had to wait for her to fight me up, show me around. Oh yeah, this place got dragon banners, music, farms, and even this creepy picture on the wall. Alright, this is Ken's house. And we need to check out this aquarium that he has. It's pretty sick. Take a fly up there. Ken has his YouTube channel. You can find the link in the description. He has awesome farms, flying machines, redstone, everything you can imagine. Check him out. It's awesome. Uh, so anyway, you can see the uh, stone highway right there. He used that to transport dolphins in here. There are dolphins swimming in that pond. So we'll swoop down here and get a closer look at Ken's house. See a lot of detail and the turtle swimming around in there. There's a lot of things going on in the realm and we'll show you some of that in the future. But uh, we'll finish off by showing some pictures of uh, some of the builds in town. This is Zach's house. It's all enclosed in glass. All the farms down there, and there's waterfalls. It's pretty cool. Here's Link. He doesn't play anymore, but uh, I personally like the windows and the detail around those. Here's a battlefield scene. You can see some combatants down here. Catapult ready to launch. This is personally my favorite build. I like the details and uh, how it is placed on the 
riverbank there. I like this one too. Looks like a little beat up trailer from a trailer park. Got a house on pillars here in the middle of town. Here's Zombie's apartment building. I like the different textures in here. Makes it look like an old building. Zombie Unicorn's a sweet shot. You can go in there and get cakes and things like that. Dark Typhoon built this for uh, as a gift for Jordan. This is the front of Jordan's house. That pick is on the back. Here's Anir's house. Apologize for not knowing how to pronounce his real name. But he's everybody's buddy. Here's the castle he has on the outskirts of town. Alright, thank you everybody for joining me in the first episode of Bionic Mole Gaming. If you like what you saw, keep an eye out for future episodes. Remember to keep it real.